Hey, welcome back. You may have a requirement to apply a Microsoft 365 sensitivity label to a SharePoint document library so that all of the files in that document library by default get that sensitivity label applied to them. And that way they get encrypted and they get the watermark and all the content marking and all that stuff. Well, how do you do that? Well, I wanna show you how to use Microsoft Cloud App Security file policies and apply governance actions to apply a sensitivity label directly to that document library. So let's jump in and take a look. Okay, first things first, within the Microsoft Cloud App Security Portal, we're gonna click on Settings, scroll down to Information Protection, find Azure Information Protection, and check the box here to automatically scan new files, and then check the box to inspect protected files. Uh, I'm not gonna check this one. Now, I'm probably gonna use this integration for additional things in the future, so that's why I'm configuring that now. If I go over to the sliders here and click on Policies, I'm going to create a file policy. Now I've already created one, and it's this guy here. And that file policy has a filter set to be scoped to the SharePoint Online app. Now I could choose other apps as well, and here in MCAS, I've got this also integrated with uh, AWS and Google Cloud, so I could also do it there. And then under the Apply To, I'm gonna choose Selected Folders, and that's where I'm gonna browse out to that folder. Now in a real environment, this will have maybe thousands, hundreds of thousands of files, so use the search. Uh, but here's my research and development folder. I'm just gonna check the box there to add it. And there it's added. I'm gonna leave the others as a default. I'm not going to create an alert because there's no need to. And then under governance actions, this is where I'm going to apply the classification label. And there's my sensitivity label. And here you can see in the compliance portal, there's the sensitivity label there. And at that point, I'm just gonna click on update. Now this is my lab environment, so it's going to probably take about an hour or so to apply the label. In a real enterprise environment, it could take a period of time, uh, probably longer than an hour, because it has to go through all the files. So just make sure you understand that, and that's all covered in the documentation. Okay, so I've already done this, and if I browse out to the sunglasses here and click on files, we will see those files in that document library and they're pink, indicating that there's new activity. And when I hover over the files, I can see that there's a little tag icon here and it says protect with Azure Information Protection. I, if I hover over the exclamation point, it says I've matched a policy. And if I click on that first one, I can see some information about it. There's the URL and the file name. There's the folder that I wanted to apply it to. If I click on classification labels, Look at that, it applied the Mark 8 research and dev uh, sensitivity label to it. If I click on the ellipsis here, I can remove the classification label if I want, and then I can force a refresh of the file as well. Uh, if we click on one of these others, here you can see uh, same thing. And then if I click on one policy match, there's the policy that it applied uh, that label. So folks, that's really it. There's not much to it. And if I go over to my SharePoint document library and just refresh the page here, uh, here you can see those files, they were uh, just modified. And then if I click on one of these, like the Word document, you can see that it is uh, denied and that's because the label was applied. Now I don't have my tenants set up to allow uh, Azure Information Protection and SharePoint Online in the web browser, so uh, shame on me, I gotta go back and do that. But here you can see the label did get applied to all of those files. So again, really easy to do this, just create a file policy, scope it out to your app, scope it out to the actual document library, apply your governance action, and away you go. All right, folks, if you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too, and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.